Step 3 to find moment of inertia about centroidal axis y by. So i by y is equal to i by 1 y 1 minus i by 2 y 2 where i y 1 y 1 is for rectangle section i y 2 y 2 is for semicircular section by applying parallel axis theorem we get i by y is equal to i by 1 by 1 plus a1 h1 square bracket close minus i by 2 by 2 plus a2 h2 bracket square where h1 is equal to distance between two parallel axes that is centroidal y y and the y1 y1 axis this y1 y1 axis is the vertical axis passing through the centroid or rectangle section we have seen this in diagram okay so the fourth diagram slide that it has been given h1 is equal to x minus x1 is equal to 2.28 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.28 this is again shown in the diagram h1 is shown in the diagram so, so it, it is a geometry part it is a geometry part h2 is equal to distance between two parallel axes y1 and y2 y2 this y2 y2 is the vertical centroidal axis passing through the centroid of semicircle semicircle ek centroid se jo pass hota hai wo y2 y2 hai to wahan se lekar distance composite section ka jo centroid hai yani g g2 se leke g tak g2 se leke g tak jo distance aapko milta hai wo hai h2 h2 is equal to x minus x2 is equal to 6 minus 3.51 is equal to 2.49 now using parallel axis theorem we know the parallel axis theorem in which i y1 y1 is nothing but d b cube by 12 which is the other d b cube by 12 and i y2 y2 is nothing but 0.11 r raised to 4 हमने पिछले बार सेमी सर्कल के प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व किए वी हैव ट्राइड टू सॉल्व दिस सेमी सर्कल प्रॉब्लम in which we had used this formula so again substituting the value by substituting the value and solving it we get i y y is equal to 33.08 centimeter rest to 4 33.08 centimeter rest to 4 so the final answer we are getting for the composite section i x x that is moment of inertia about the centroid of the composite section is 133.13 centimeter raised to 4 and i y y is equal to 33.08 centimeter raised to 4. Thank you student.